Okay, so we have our fantasy projections and we have our value. Okay, so we have our fantasy projections and we have our baseline numbers. Let's move into Google Sheets, which we will use for our actual draft. Let's move to Google Sheets where we will make our last. Let's move to Google Sheets where we can calculate our final adjusted fantasy points value and set up our sheet to help us on draft day. First things first, we're going to want to import our CSV file into a Google Sheet. We can do this by calling the import method and replacing our current sheet. Again, in the last section, we saved out a CSV file that had our player ID name. In last section, we saved out a CSV file that had our player name, ID, season ID, the ESPN position, and our fantasy points. What we're also going to want to do is create a new tab that has our baseline points for each position. Again, this is what we pulled from that dictionary in the previous step. So we know for our point guard position, our baseline points is 12.09. For shooting guard, 13.14. Uh, same for, and then we do the same for small forward, power forward, and center position. So in our projection tabs, what we are going to do is create one final column, which will be our value adjusted fantasy points. And here we are going to use a VLOOKUP method to look at the D column, which is our ESPN position, see what their position is, head over to our baseline value worksheet and look to see what that position is and get the baseline points, which is what we will then use. So let's create another column that's going to have our baseline points. And here we're going to use a VLOOKUP to get the ES and here we're going to use a VLOOKUP to get the ESPN position, go over to our other worksheet, see what that position is, and then read in the points. After that, we can subtract and get our value adjusted fantasy points, which is what we'll use for our draft. So again, in the VLOOKUP, we are going to say this equals VLOOKUP. And the first parameter we pass is what it should be looking for. So this is going to be column D, uh, right there, D2. The next parameter we pass is where to look. And so this is going to be look at A1 to B6. And after that, we're saying which column in this uh, sheet do we want to look at? That's going to be not the first, but the second column. And the final parameter will pass it as false. So now if we run this, we'll see it is looking for the small forward position going over to that other tab and seeing what is the second column, which is the baseline points for that position. Now here we know what's going to be. Now here we know that we are always going to look in that same location. So we're going to add a dollar sign before it to hold that constant. And then what's going to change is for the next row, it will be D3 uh, and so on and so forth. So now we can double click here and it will run it for all the other rows. So again, you'll see the only thing that's changing is the D3, everything else remaining constant. Um, so now we have the baseline points depending on what that position is. So you'll see here we have three rows of center, so that remains the same. And so finally, we can say this is going to be equal to the fantasy points column minus the baseline points column. So now our value adjusted fantasy points is 15.31 for LeBron. And again, we want to run this for all the other columns. And then what we can do here is we don't really care about this one anymore, so we can hide the column. Great. So this is now the column we will use to draft off of. So what I'm going to want to do now is sort the range based on that last column. And we want to go highest to lowest.
And then what we're going to want to do is sort based on that final column. And then what we're going to want to do is sort based on that final column. And then what we're going to want to do is sort the range based on that final column, which is going to be the value adjusted fantasy points. And we want highest to lowest. And what we can do here finally is format the data to use a color scale of good to better. And so now as we go down, we see who's good and who's bad to stay away from. But this is basically telling us uh, in the 2018-19 season, if we had the first overall pick, we would want to draft Russell Westbrook. Now, one thing to keep in mind is as you fill a position, the value for that position is going to want to change. So on draft day, while you have this sheet, keep track of who you are picking and which positions you still need, because once you've drafted a point guard, all the other point guards are going to lose some value. But here you have it. Uh, you have a sheet that, again, is going to help you sort the players based on the value adjusted fantasy points using our projections from our projection model. And now it is up to you to win your league by drafting the best value at each pick, which ultimately will help you to get the best team.